February 2nd. I just got off work. It's 6, 10 in the morning. And I'm getting ready to drive. I think it's 300 and something miles up north to Richmond, California. I'm gonna go get a bell housing. A guy up here has got a bell housing, brand new for a small block Ford T56, 500 bucks. Um, they just keep going up and up on Summit and LMR. I think they're like 840 or 850. So yeah, it's gonna suck. It'll be a little bit drive, but you know what? I'll put on the music and uh, blow up there, grab that thing blow home and maybe on my way home stop and have a beer with my friend Merle and no rest for the wicked baby It's 11 a.m. We left at 6.30. We just met with the guy. I didn't film anything because he's at work. He works at Costco. We're at Costco and he does tires. But uh, he is changing his setup to an LS. So he sold all or is selling all of his small block Ford stuff. Poor guy. Anyways, um, I'm going to pull up here park and all. There's a billion people here. I could never live in a community like this. I'll pull over here park and then uh film the bell housing ah, there it is heavy damn thing but uh, brand new small block forward to t56 really? yeah. we'll get some gasoline and head home i'm kind of tired all right you guys back from oakland Picked up the bell housing, worked all night, drove there, got the bell housing, drove home. This morning I got up, checked the fitment of the bell housing. Fits perfect. I just had, to, there was like some powder coat in the hole. I just ran a same size drill bit as the dowel, cleaned that stuff out. So that's good to go. Uh, back to Falcon out. Cleaned up in the shop this morning. Back to Falcon now. It's out getting some sun. Out enjoying the sun. Not that bad of a day. A little cold, a little windy, but nonetheless. Got us a little project. Uh, AV Boys, Tony. We're gonna change the, the rack and pinion. It's no good. So I'm gonna do a quick little video on that. A little how-to for the Fox guys. All right, you guys, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, last week, I didn't work on the Falcon at all. I helped uh, Tony, AV Boys. I took an engine out of one of his four cylinders and put another one in. So I didn't get any work done on the Falcon. Um, Super Bowl Sunday, wife and kids are going to go watch the Super Bowl somewhere. I have to work later on tonight, but I decided I'm going to come in here into the shop and um, I'm going to get the steering column shaft i'm gonna get all that stuff welded up um and then i'm gonna get the engine set back in get the rear stands made for the rear motor plate um as you could have seen previous i got the bell housing and then i'll get the car up on the lift get the bell housing or see if i can get the bell housing in there uh may not get to that today but that'll be something that i try to get to um i may go inside for a few hours and chill out before work but uh, I'm going to throw you on a time lapse, get the steering column shaft, whatever you want to call this thing, get that all welded up so that the steering on this thing's done. And then I've got an idea if I need another one of those engine travel limiters, which I got from Motion. Uh, that is right here. So this bolts to the block. It's got like this clevis that turns in here and then two ends and then a piece of chromoly tube. So I'll get the steering all done up and then 
we'll get the engine set in there and I'll also check that and see. Uh, well, I want to be able to get to the starter easy because I intend on using it on the passenger side, but I want to make sure I get to the starter easy in case there's a problem. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go from there. I got uh, not the cleanest, but I'm still really not good at doing this TIG stuff. It's really complicated for me, especially when you're in joints like that. But uh, that should hold. Good stuff. All right, I got these phased correctly, I think. And I've got, I counted the number of turns from lock to lock, and I have the rack in the center and steering wheel in the center, but the tires are a little off, so I have to mess with that with the, with the other stuff, the, Bump steer kit, tie rod deal. Down there you can see I'm quite a ways off. So I'll get those straightened out, but I've got the wheel uh, straight and the rack is in the center. Um, so I'm gonna get it a lot, get it, you know, where the tires are going right and then we'll check the uh, movement on this. I tacked it and it felt okay. All right, we got the car. It's not aligned, but the tire, the wheels are going straight and the steering wheel is straight. Let's check the action here. Very smooth. It's not a um, notchy or anything. It's still pretty good there. Perfect. All right, we got everything good to go. It's nice and tight, no notchiness at all. So that's good. Um, the strange, a little play in that strange quick release, but that's all right. And then the blinker, motion race works. That'll 
have to be wired up, but just mocking it up. And we're good to go. We got the steering done. We'll get on to the next project, which is probably going to be starting the back uh, mini tub and all that stuff. So as you see, guys, um, we'll catch you on the next one. Steering's done, mocked up. All that stuff will come apart and be painted and made pretty when the car finally goes back together. Um, Tony was just here and dropped off something that uh, we'll reveal on the next video and uh, may change the direction of the Falcon and the way that we're going, or it's going to change the direction of the Falcon and the way that we're going. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh,